Today we're going to be talking about how to rate the condition of your shoes. I'm going to show you my process on how I do it and then also so you guys can understand what the sneakerhead lingo is so that way when you go to buy a pair of shoes, you know what they're talking about. Welcome back to the channel. What's up with you guys? How you doing? How you been? If you did not know by now, my name is DJ and this is The DNA Show. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Please hit that like button because that helps the algorithm oh so much. That pushes the content out so other people can see it as well. But let's go ahead and get on to the topic. Why are we talking about how to rate your shoes in the first place? Who cares about that topic? Well, personally, I do and I know other people do as well. Sometimes when people get ready to buy shoes, they don't understand what PADS means and VNDS and NDS and VVVVV VNDS and all these different things and what a beater is, what a rocker is, and the conditions when you rate it 7 out of 10 and 8 out of 10 and all these different things. This helps the buyer understand what the condition of the shoe is to determine the value of it and all these different things. And when also when you're looking to sell as well. So I always want to help people with this topic because they end up buying shoes and they don't know the condition. They get it in the mail and they think they got some shoe and the next thing you know they're like, oh I didn't know pre-owned meant that they actually wore it. So there's things like that that happen. So let's start with the first shoe. This one is considered dead stock or DS or brand new or fresh out the box or whatever you'd like to call it. You see never worn? But this is the one that is the one that has never been worn. And that's obviously like the one that a lot of people like to wear. But when it comes to buying and selling and rebuying and all these different things in the market, people buy used shoes, they continue to hold value and people are able to sell their used shoes as well. Size 13, 100 bucks. That's not bad. I feel like that's not bad. What do these go for now? I don't know. So you definitely want to understand the difference between new and used and never try to sell a shoe as new when it is used. You can be deceived. People have taken shoes, worn them before, cleaning them up really well and the next thing you know they say that the shoe is brand new. You need to get detailed photos and understanding is this shoe truly dead stock? I want to see up close photos of the soles. I want to see if there's any scuffs on the shoe or anything like that because that will help you determine has this shoe actually been worn? Did they try to clean up the sneaker and say that they didn't wear it? You want to make sure that you're safe from that when you're buying a shoe because that can immediately devalue the sneaker. That's like buying a brand new car and driving it off the lot. That's like somebody wearing a shoe and saying that it was new. They're lying to you. You got to get your money back. All these different things. So dead stock, DS, all those things, brand new. This is that version of that. That gives you guys a look at it. Now I want to take it to the next one. This is the one that's actually very, very interesting. This one where the money hits, where it's like I could get a great shoe, but because it was used, I got it at a good price. This one right here, VNDS. So now as you can see from the difference between the first one and the second one, there are a little bit of creases on the back. You can see from the sole, the shoe has been worn, but it's in a very, very nice condition. And because of that, we call it VNDS. So nine times out of 10, when it's a VNDS shoe or a PADS, pass as dead stock, those are the type of shoes that people have tried on, maybe worn around the house or worn to an event sometime and only worn the shoe a couple times or they kept it really, really clean and they it almost looks brand new, but you know it's not brand new. This is that type of shoe. And when you're looking to buy an expensive shoe, you always want to kind of find a shoe that's like in that condition because now you know you can still get that dope sneaker. Yeah, it might have been worn a couple times, but you can, you know, sterilize and do all those things. You're able to get it for a discounted price because the shoe has been worn. So it's always dope to look for shoes that are VNDS, very near dead stock or PADS, pass as dead stock. Those are a couple things that people say when they're talking about a shoe like this. Other people like to say V, 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 N, D, S, meaning they only wore it once. All those people love to say those things with the extra Vs and all that stuff, none of it matters. Either has the shoe been worn or is it brand new dead stock? I need to know the difference between the two. So when you see all those Vs and all that pass as dead stock, all that other stuff, don't worry about that. Is the shoe new or is the shoe used? So another note is whenever I am buying a used shoe, I always like to use this rejuvenator deodorant Deodorizer. I have a link for it down below if you're interested in it But this is obviously something that's gonna deodorize and sterilize the sneaker So that way you can make sure that it is fresh even if you want to clean the insoles out and different things like that But even after I clean the insoles out I still spray this down so that way I know I'm wearing a sanitary shoe with nobody else's foot juice all up in it And it's just mine. Okay now taking it to the next one. We have the near dead stock right here now This is the one that is like 
a rocker, but it's clean. You take care of it, but it's still like fresh, but like you don't care if it does get that little bit of dirt on it because you know you're gonna clean it off later type thing. It's been worn more than five to 10 times, yet it's still kind of icy like that type of thing. So this falls in that into that rocker category, into that near dead stock category. But a lot of people can switch that VNDS to NDS, near dead stock, to very near dead stock, and they can try to deceive you with having a near dead stock shoe and saying it's a very near dead stock shoe. So you have to look at things like the tread on the sole, different things like creasing, different things like dirt, stuff like that, because that's definitely gonna show you the difference between the two. Just by looking at the soles, you can tell, hey, this shoe has been worn more. I understand that, you know, it's been through it and it's a near dead stock shoe or basically a rocker. I always call it a rocker. <laughs> All right, here we go. This one is considered the beater. This falls into the beater category, the straight up like when you go to a sneaker con and they have a box full of beaters, that's what that means. When it's just a bunch of shoes that's like, this is the one that you thrash. This is the one that you could find like a banger shoe, but it's like super cheap because it's already beat up and you plan on beating it up too. This one, I definitely recommend throwing in the wash sterilizing it before you just go ahead and put somebody else's beater on because trust me I know they got some foot juice all up in that one so as you can see from this one you got stuff fraying off the sides it's really dirty it's scuffed up there's wrinkles everything like the soles is starting to get flat different things like that and that's when it falls into that beater category these things have been through a lot I've been <laughs> trying to beat these for a long time now I've been hooping in them I was in the mud in them I done done I done done everything in this shoe Okay, so I was shooting the B-roll and I forgot about this part. So, yeah. These are what you called past dead. I'll let you guys drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the condition of these. Oh gosh. All right, back to the video. Okay, so now that you guys have a kind of understanding of how to rate the shoes and all that different stuff, we're gonna go with a dead stock shoe is a 10 out of 10. We're gonna go with a, and honestly, I don't even know if I should talk about the numbers and the rating out of 10. We should just literally go on, is this shoe new? Is it used? And when you look on purchasing the shoe, can you get detailed, high quality, good lighting photos? If they can't send you a good quality photo with solid lighting where you can see the details of the sneaker and understand, has the shoe been worn? Has it not been worn? Is it worn badly? Is the tread coming off the sole? If those pictures don't come through, honestly, you should be judgy about it because you don't want somebody to deceive you and get something in the mail. I wanna keep reiterating that because it happens to a lot of people all the time. People can rate shoes out of 10, this out of 10, that out of 10, but at the end of the day, that's not the true factor because everybody has their own rating system when it comes to numbers out of 10. You can use your own rating system all you want, but I've seen people literally take a sneaker like this and say, very near dead stock. Eight out of 10, eight and a half out of 10. Especially when the people go, oh, this is a 9.5 out of 10. This one is a, a 7.4 out of 10. Bro, really? Really? You think everybody's scale is the same? No, it's not. So y'all gotta understand that, hey, dead stock, very near dead stock, near dead stock, beater. Keep it that simple, understand it, get the clear photos when you're looking to buy a shoe. And even if you're looking to sell a shoe, make sure that you are transparent with the buyer and tell them, hey, these are the flaws of the shoe, these are the treads of the shoe, these are all the things, so that way they have a clear understanding and when they get that sneaker in the mail that they purchased from you, they are happy about it and everything goes smooth because you don't want somebody to be like, oh yeah, I thought I got this from him and next thing you know, I get this in the mail. Like, they thought they was getting this, but they got this, you know what I'm saying? Be clear, be transparent when you're talking about the condition of the shoe, because that is something that has a huge disconnect when it comes to the shoe game. Everybody rates their shoes in different conditions and all those different numbers and all those things, but there are just blatant factors. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, you guys can rate these down below what you think they are out of 10, all you want. But again, like I was saying, either it's new or it's used, it's lightly used, all those different things, you can determine those things. And uh, it's hard to say when somebody says, well, how many times has it been worn? People wear their shoes differently. I've seen somebody wear their shoes five times and it looks like they wore them 40. I've seen people wear their shoes 40 times and look like they wore them twice. So I don't know if the number of times they wore a sneaker really matters. It's all based on the actual condition of the shoe. Again, I'm just trying to reiterate all these different things so that way people can understand 
yeah, that maybe doesn't really matter. What is the actual condition of the shoe? So that should do it. My name is DJ. I'm signing out. If you have any other questions, comments, or concerns, please drop them down below in the comment section. I'll try to get the answer for you in another video. I hope this was helpful yet again. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. Gotta remember to say that. All right, y'all. My name is DJ. I'm signing out. I'm gone. Peace. <laughs>